Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We've got a new Windows 10 build to look at, our first of 2021, and this is build 21286 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. And we have got actually a new feature, the new news and interest bar, which you see down here on the taskbar at the bottom. I'm running this on a Surface Go, so it does seem to be using quite a lot of the taskbar, but on a bigger screen device like a Surface Laptop, whatever, then um, it wouldn't take so much space up. But what do you get on that? Well, the basic version, when you click onto it, um, you get news headlines, weather, what looks like shares and traffic updates. So it's customizable, so you can choose what content is shown in there. So here's the my feed, and it could be that I don't want to see that. So I can hide that card. And I imagine I can add other things into this page to customize it. So let me, uh, Let's have a say news. I'm already following news. I definitely don't want to follow Brexit. So you can choose which sections that you will um, you will have, and then they appear down here in this bar at the bottom. It's a new feature, so it's interesting. I know some people have said they don't like the um, taking up the, the the bar at the bottom. I, I would imagine you can you've got the choice to get rid of it. Um, but I think it's nice to have something new in Windows as news interest. Um, that you could see, so I could have it as the icon only, which is quite handy. And then you can bring that up there. But I like that idea of uh, of having uh, a news feed and something new and interesting to see in Windows 10. Uh, Microsoft always get criticised for not doing anything new, and then when they do something new, then people complain about it. But I like to see that. So that's the main new feature in this build. And it currently only works in US, Canada, Great Britain, Australia and India. Now supposedly another new feature is the modern story settings but um, mine keeps bringing the old ones up so whether you can assist me and uh, tell me where I'm doing the wrong link because uh, I think that should be coming through where I went to that link before. Um, I think I should be getting that through there so I'm not quite sure why, that's, why that hasn't appeared on mine. It could be it's just rolling out in phases and they haven't turned that on on my device yet. There are a couple of things like you can run commands on startup on the Windows subsystem for Linux, and there's an improvement when you're changing time zones now. Um, so, when the time zone is updated because it knows the location's changed, you get a little dialog box telling you about that as well. Um, so the rest of the changes are all fixes. They fix an issue with um, some insiders were getting where your PC ran a problem and needs to restart in one minute. Um, they fix some issues with no drives appearing under storage settings, which you saw me uh, in before in the manage distant volumes. They fix some issues with the PCs uh, being signed out with, with apps being signed out. They fix some transcoding issues. Um, some narrator issues as well. There's still some known issues. It seems around games as well. State of Decay 2, Assassin's Creed are crashing. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Black Ops may not launch correctly as well with this build. And there may be some graphics issues um, with, with rendering with this build as well. And some game bar issues as well. So there's a full link on theditionalize.com with all the settings in there. The main thing I wanted to show on this video is the new... Uh, news app or the news and information toolbar as you could call it and uh, be interested to see what microsoft can add to that and you can perhaps add a bit of custom maybe some other external feeds and maybe some of your your tasks and all things like that whether they can make it to a sort of hub for more information we'll see anyway thanks for watching this video you can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com